Hello guys, welcome to class number four and in this class we want to talk about uh, IBL, image-based lighting, and show you how you can set up this feature, this amazing feature in Maxwell Studio 5. Okay, here you can see the model I imported uh, from Maya. This is the model uh, that one of my best friends created this model, uh, Hamid Reza Afshar in the Maya. Uh, this is the P90 uh, pinhole camera model. I exported it with FBX file and imported in Maxwell Studio. We show you the process in the previous classes, okay? And here you can see the objects. But before we start to using IBL, I want to manage uh, this list. This is the, all of the objects that we have, but I want to show you how you can set up a group in Maxwell Studio. This is really, really easy. You can select any object that you want and you can press Command G to group any list of objects that you want. Okay, I want to choose all of the uh, models for the camera and create a group for camera. This is one of the objects. I will select it and go into top of the list and press Shift, another click here on the first object in the list and you can see how Maxwell will uh, choose or select all of the objects between these two objects. After that, I can press Command G and Maxwell uh, will create a group for me. I need to type a name for the group. I can say P90 underscore camera model and I can press enter. Now we have a group here, P90 camera model and this is the ground model. You can assign any material to the group or any object that you want. In this case, I assign this custom material to all of the objects in the scene. Here it is. You can see a very, very clean scene setup and a clean list here. This is really, really important that you choose name for your objects and have a very, very clean up object list. Okay. Now we want to show you how you can set up uh, IBL. You can go to environment and you can see many, many options here. In the type, you can choose anything that you want. None, you don't have any environment set up, sky and image-based. In this class, we want to talk about image-based lighting. I choose image-based and here you can see many, many, many features that I want to show you how you can use them, okay? First of all, we need to load HDR image. Spherical HDR or high dynamic range images, okay? If I go to Nook, here is a one example of HDR image. This is spherical, okay? As you can see, uh, we have very, very bright pixels here. If I change the gain, you can see how these pixels react to changing the feature of the gain in the nuke and we need this okay these bright pixels will be our light source okay in the rendering system like maxwell this is outstanding if we have different environments if we have different lighting situation different real lighting situation in these types of images we can use all of the real world lights to lit up our scene this is really cool if i going back maxwell studio here you can browse your image. I can choose my HDR image here and you can see in the fire that we load this image. The bright pixels now is our light source. This is like sun. We have sun shadow here. And if I change the intensity to 50, you can see a very brighter scene. If I rotate or tumble the scene, the magic happens in Maxwell Studio and I will show you how you can change many different features that we have in image-based lighting setup in Maxwell. This is the global intensity. You can change it to one and change the background to 50, okay? And this works as the same as the intensity of the IBL setting because the reflection, refraction and illumination section type is set to same as background. If I change the background intensity to 50, the illumination will be 50 because this is the same as background. If I change it to HDR image, 
you can see there is no lighting in the scene because we don't have any HDR image in the illumination. But if I choose same as background, this is the same image as the background. And if I change any setting in the background, uh, I will change it for illumination. I, I will change it for refraction or reflection. Okay. Uh, for seeing the reflection feature, I can go to custom shader that I have it here and change the roughness to 10 you can see the reflection, okay? This is really, really cool. This HDR is my environment and the reflection feature will process with this environment. This is totally amazing. But I can load different HDR images for reflection. As if I show you, I can go to reflection, change it to HDR image, load another HDR image, something like this living apartment as you can see if i change the intensity to 50 we have uh we have another hdr image for reflection and another hdr image for background and illumination very very cool you can load any hdr image for any feature that you want okay if i change it to same as background everything will be normal Okay, I will load another HDR image for background. And as you can see, if I change the surface properties to roughness to 100 another time, we can see new environment with new light sources. In this image, we have two light sources. This is our first light source. This is the window. This is something like area light, softbox. And with this light, we need to have a very, very soft shadow. And as you can see, Maxwell simulated the light and we have a very great soft shadow here. This is totally amazing because everything, everything that you have in the HDR image, Maxwell will calculate it correctly, calculate it physically. And this is really, really amazing. As you can see, this is our second light source. This is something like a point light, okay? We need to have a very harsh shadow with this light. If I choose one of the objects here and press C, okay, we can see we have a harsh shadow for this light, okay? If I uh, load another object like a uh, sphere or something like that, we can see that or we can see a very harsh shadow here. This is amazing because everything that we have in the HDR image, we will have it very, very correctly in Maxwell Studio and Maxwell Rendering Engine. This is totally insane. If I change and choose another image, if I go to background, change another image, something like this or uh, another image, okay? We have many light sources in this image and we have many shadows. Totally correct, physically correct. This is amazing. We can turn in the image or we can rotate the image itself. As you can see in the background, we can see the offset, okay? We can change the angle of the lights. If I change it 25 degree, you can see how we change the light sources. If I load another image with one light source, okay, something like this. We have one sun here, 90 degree, 45, 180. You can totally see the light changes in any direction that I change it in the offset. Okay, 270 or press zero in it, okay. And another thing that I forgot to tell you in the previous class is if you want to change these options together, you can press shift in Maxwell Studio. If I press shift and use the middle click, as you can see, I can change the scale of the map uh, with the same number for these two options, okay? I can another time press one and one for the scale and you can see the magic of the IBL.
You see the options of the IVL in this class, but we need to know more about the materials, to know more about the cameras using exposure control of the camera sensor, and those features are really, really important. Plus, IVL plus sky setup in Maxwell using physical sun and sky in Maxwell Studio. In the next classes, we will uh, review camera, sun and sky feature in Maxwell materials and we can achieve a very, very realistic scenes. Hope you enjoy this class. Next week, I will see you with another feature, Physical Sun and Sky. Goodbye.